Let the records speak for themselves. The London Knights of 2004-2005 were simply one of the greatest junior hockey teams of all time. Some say the greatest. They put London on the map as Hockeyville in North America. The House of Green became the House of Joy as the Knights ended a 40-year franchise wait by steamrolling their way to the Memorial Cup. It was complete, unequivocal, and decisive. The Knights were truly number one. No other team in London's history gripped the populace as these Knights. People walked the streets wearing anything green and beaming with pride. With the National Hockey League on hold because of a player lockout, the Knights became the focal point for hockey across the nation. Orchestrated by the Hunter brothers, Dale as president and head coach, and Mark as vice president and general manager, the Knights celebrated the 40th anniversary of their storied franchise in record fashion. Guaranteed a spot in the Memorial Cup tournament as host city, the Hunters wanted no part of a backdoor entry. Their team punctuated its dream season by setting a Canadian Hockey League record of 31 consecutive games, 29 wins, two ties, without a loss to begin the season. And their assault of the record book continued throughout the year. They were the first team to record back-to-back 50-win -back seasons. They chalked up the most wins and the most points by one team. Gerald Coleman collected the most shutouts by a goaltender with eight, and Corey Perry became the all-time Knights points leader. Perry, an Anaheim Ducks first round draft pick, was OHL Player of the Year, and then Memorial Cup MVP. Captain Danny Savret was CHL Defenseman of the Year. It was a double gold for both, as they had played key roles in Canada's march to the World Junior Championship four and a half months earlier in North Dakota. The Knights knocked off the Guelph Storm, the Windsor Spitfires, the Kitchener Rangers, and Brian Kilray's Ottawa 67s en route to the OHL title. First up in the Memorial Cup tournament was a long-awaited meeting with the Rimouski Oceanic and their much-heralded super kid, Sidney Crosby. The Knights rallied for a thrilling 4-3 overtime victory. Then they downed the defending Memorial Cup champion Kelowna Rockets 4-2 and followed with a 5-2 win over Ottawa, setting up a rematch with Rimouski in the final. Crosby was held in check by some gritty defense. Adam Dennis supplied clutch goalkeeping and goals by Danny Fritchie, Brian Rodney, David Boland and Rob Shrimp was all the Knights needed as they overpowered the Quebec League champs 4-0. Fireworks erupted inside the John Labatt Centre, signaling not only mission accomplished, but the fact the Knights had now won 79 games, lost only nine, and tied two to cap their amazing run. Londoners celebrated long into the night and later acknowledged their heroes with a parade through the downtown. The city was alive with green, and the words of sportscaster Peter Labardius long echoed from the JLC. London, you've waited 40 years for this. Your team is about to win its first Memorial Cup. The London Sports Hall of Fame is proud to induct the 2005 Memorial Cup champion, London Knights.